We're learning more about a head-on crash in Johnson County from earlier this week. It killed six people. And that family was visiting from Georgia. Fox 4's Dan Godwin joins us in studio with details on the investigation and what we've learned about the victims. Dan? Shannon, one of the victims who died in this crash was a 28-year-old living in Irving. He had come to the United States with high hopes. He was here earning a master's degree. Now, this is him, Rasheel Bari. He was driving six family members on Tuesday, visiting from Georgia. Their minivan was hit head-on by a Chevy Silverado truck driving in the opposite direction. Texas DPS says the truck driven by two teenagers entered the family's lane in a no passing zone. A friend who grew up with Rashil Bari in India says the two moved to the U.S. to attend graduate school. The friend told us Bari had dreams of becoming an entrepreneur and helping support his relatives back in India. The two were very close. Best friend? Best brother. Yeah. Even I'm in a concept that he went to some other place, he'll be back soon. Bari's cousin, Lokesh Potabathula, is the only survivor. Now, he is unconscious in a hospital with critical injuries. Potabathula's 36-year-old wife and two children, a 10-year-old boy, 9-year-old girl, died in the crash. His father-in-law and mother-in-law also died. The two 17-year-old boys in the truck have critical injuries. Investigators have not yet been able to talk with them. We don't know yet if any criminal charges will be filed. The two teens are from Glen Rose in Somerville County, a DPS spokesman says it's not yet known what caused their pickup to cross into that no-passing zone on Highway 67. Dan Godwin on Good Day.